Your Hardware Canucks 2014 CES coverage is brought to you by NCIX, technology connected. All right, so hey guys, we are here in the Patriot booth with uh, CES 2014, and they are moving towards the mobile market uh, with the release of a bunch of battery packs that we'll go over now. Um, no, no news about DDR4 yet, but it is, uh, will be released later in the year. So not announced at CES, but potentially high, uh, later on the year. So let's go ahead and start with these battery packs. So one of the first one is this sort of the Fuel Plus uh, uh, mobile kit. So it's an uh, 8,700 milliamp hour battery pack, comes with a, an actual battery pack, um, micro SD card, and a USB to micro SD in case you want to connect your phone and uh, use that uh, as for, for data. Uh, next is this Fuel Active, which is uh, actually, no, is this the Fuel Active? This is the Fuel Plus, which means you can plug in your iPhone 5S. Uh, and this is 2050 milliamp hours, uh, providing about twice the charge of your original charge of your iPhone. So pretty innovative, also acts as sort of the protective cover and with the uh, additional, I guess, camera, imp uh, camera holes here and all the button uh, exactly where they would be here. Uh, next one is the Fuel Active. This is actually, I, I do like this. This is more for, you know, if you go camping and stuff. So there's a power button to, to see how much charge there is. This is 6,000 milliamps of uh, charge, which is excellent. So we have a USB and a micro SD for charging. And it also has its own cable. Uh, simply just, you know, it's kind of sits discreetly on the side there for charging your, your phone devices. Now, this is, like I said, would be used for, I guess this is fuel active, so you will potentially will be taking this on the road with you, so it's very, uh, very sturdy. It actually has a dustproof cover, so in case you drop this into a puddle, it will still maintain uh, you know, still ma maintain all the connections. And it also has an LED here. So by holding the LED button, it will turn on the first row of LEDs, the second row of LEDs, and then if you want to have a little rave in your tent, <laughs> there you go. Okay, so this is the fuel active from uh, from Patriot. Next are these uh, sort of uh, lipstick design slash flashlight. So this there's a little button here. So again, USB and a micro USB, uh, micro USB for charging. There you go. We got the flashlight. This is 2,000 milliamps of uh, a milliamp hours of charge. Very nice, and uh, it's actually based on the competition. So this is a very strong LED, very uh, very good quality LED. So nice uh, nice flashlight there. And it's also very nice and sturdy construction very thick materials uh, and also they're reaching out towards sort of the um, and with larger bricks so these would be fuel plus uh, with larger uh, charging capacity and as you can see there are multiple colors they are targeting char targeting sort of the, the the feminine market here a little bit because that's a huge market especially for uh, for iPhones and things and so we have 52 5200 of charge 6,000 7,800 and 9,000 milliamp hours of charge. So as you can see, quite a variety in terms of battery charging stations for your uh, mobile devices. So they're definitely going towards that, to, towards that market and it seems like uh, everything you need for this type of uh, mobile sector. So now let's go ahead and check out some memory. So one of the things that they, um, like, like we said earlier, no DDR5 announcement, DDR4 announcement yet, but here this is their new uh, Patriot Viper low profile kit. So they're, told, they're telling us that they've been requested from uh, a bunch of uh, cu customers to release low profile uh, memory. So it comes in both 16, 18, 33, and 2100 uh, kits and 16 gigabyte capacities, as you can see in three different colors. And they'll also have a sort of uh, your kind of conventional uh, memory with a larger heat sink for a slightly better overclocking. Again, an eight uh, and 16 gigabyte capacities, and I'm sure 32 as well, in three different colors. But also another cool thing here at um, the, the Patriot kit are the, their uh, mobile SSD. So it is connected with a USB 3. So let's go and check that out. All right, so another cool thing that we saw here at Patriot booth at CS 2014 is this supersonic Phoenix uh, SSD USB 3.0. Now, it could be a little, uh, a little bit of misleading. So this is, in the name, it's a USB 3 SSD. Um, this is more of a form factor, as you can see, it sort of looks like an SSD, but in a very smaller form factor. They will be available in 256, uh, 512, and one terabyte capacities. Uh, a little bit more than a dollar per gigabyte. So it is a, a bit of a luxury item uh, than your, let's say your regular SSDs, but this is a very small form factor, as you can see. So we'll, you will be able to connect this with a USB into your, into your computer. So instead of occupying 
uh, entire space like you would with a regular flash drive instead of uh, occupying this much space on your laptop this gives you a little bit a more compact uh, and uh, compact space beside uh, your USB so this is the Patriot the supersonic Phoenix and it's using it's it's using the same technology as, as you would with this uh, sort of flash drive here uh, but you're getting uh, you're still getting very uh, acceptable speed so around 250 reads and just uh, reaching 200 writes uh, so this would be a very good solution for sort of your travel needs if you need to transport a lot of data if you need to transfer a lot of data when you travel and it seems like it's in this sort of plastic housing with this uh, sort of brushed aluminum looking finish but uh, hopefully we'll see some uh, more compact and sturdy uh, construction here so this is the supersonic phoenix a very interesting device uh, from patriot uh, and so this concludes sort of our coverage here at, at, at patriot so don't forget to subscribe for the rest of our cs uh, 2014 coverage and uh, make sure to like this video if you want to see some ddr4 from patriot